guys, my name is... What was that? Hi guys, my name is Titan and today I'll be showing you how I achieved this half-face skull makeup. I don't use face paint, I don't have face paint. I wanted to make a tutorial where uh, you can just use your makeup that you have at home. Every single girl has an eyeliner. If you're like me, you're always waiting for the last minute to find a costume or you can't find a costume anymore, I think this is a good way for you to just slap on a skull on your face, wear a form-fitting black dress, and then you're golden and you can just go out and rock the night. In fact, I actually wore this look last year to a Halloween party. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Please give a like and click the subscribe button. And yeah, bye! So I'm going to start off with a brown pencil eyeliner. This part is optional, but I decided to make an outline first in case I messed up, which I do a lot. <laughs> I used my picture from last year's Halloween as a reference. I can show you better than I can tell you, so just look at those shapes that I'm drawing on my jaw, my eye, and my nose. After doing the rough outline, you want to fill in the spaces with your trusty black eyeliner. As you can see here, the outlines only worked as a guide for me and I kind of played around with it until the shape looked the best. Right now, I'm just drawing an inverted kind of staircase step. It kind of looks like a deformed peanut. Yes, peanut, you heard me right. <laughs> anyway, you want to extend that line all the way back to your jaw. And now I'm just filling everything in so that it's all uniformly black. I'm continuing on on the hollows or what's supposed to be the hollow of the cheek and I'm just outlining around that peanut <laughs> and yeah you want to be very very careful when it comes to the edges you don't want uh, weird wobbly lines fill in the space close to the ear and you want to make sure this space is smaller than your ear and stops right in the middle where your ear is Draw a line right in the center of your nose bridge and fill out that hollow. Don't forget the nostril area as well. On the hairline, I drew a funky staircase shape again, but some of the steps are smaller, some of them go out more, and this just makes it look more organic and natural. Okay, now connect that eye patch to the hairline part. And then just draw another sharp thingy coming out of the eye patch, like such. On the forehead, draw a line extending outwards. Uh, this is just to add more detail to the skull face. Now we have come to the lips. Just divide your lips into half and draw a line from the deformed peanut to the side of your mouth. This is the part where you draw squiggly lines, some short, some long, extending into different angles. You don't have to draw it on too neat because this looks better in my opinion. And you want to draw two little lines on the cheek as well. Here I actually decided to draw on the peanut even more to make it more angular. And then added another little line connecting it. 
Now this makeup look can be done as it is, but I prefer adding a little bit more detail just to give it that oomph. Draw a few wiggly lines with a really thin eyeliner. Here I'm just sharpening the edges and adding more detail on the hairline area. Add some gradient and shadows with a black eyeshadow and I'm just um, blurring out the lines of my mouth and those little lines that you saw me draw just now. This is the last step, red lipstick for the human part of the face. I used a lip brush so that it's more precise down the center and around my lip line. And that concludes my skull makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoy it. If you recreate it, please tag me on Instagram at titantara. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye!